morning, everyone. This is KS Broadcast, and here I have my co-host Sabrina Shu. Hello, how are you? I'm really tired. I have a lot of tests today. Oh, really? That's、yeah. horrible. Well, I have a solution for you. You know, there's a recent news on Fox News that、um, there was a research theorized, carried out, and finalized by the Hiroshima University in Japan, and it shows that by looking at cute animals. Especially、um, baby animals like Hello Kitty actually increases your productivity and your memory. Oh, Dr. Lee did that in one of our TOK classes. D- did it help? What did he I do? Think, I actually think it did help. Well, he showed us a picture of Hello Kitty, and then he asked us to、um, uh, do our TOK stuff and see if we were more effective, and which we were. Well, you can bring these skills to anywhere, right? I know, right? I can bring it to the Acumis trip I'm going on. Acumis trip, as in、uh, varsity vo- varsity volleyball. There are two teams,、uh, both the girl and the boys team. We're going to Beijing next、uh, Wednesday on ten ten, and we're going to be playing volleyball. And oh, by the way, all volleyball players, remember to bring your Mizuno knee pads. Mizuno, Mizuno is made in Japan. Are you going to Beijing? Yep. Is there something wrong? You know that the relations between Japan and China are at their lowest year because of the spat over the island group Senakoku, known in Japanese, and Diao Yu Tai, known in Chinese. This is because that、um, the decision of this island given to Japan、um, made the Chinese people really, really mad. All because that they thought that this island originally belonged to them, and the Chinese people were raging over this by storming into Japanese branded shops like SK Two. Or um Sony and destroy all their products to alleviate their anger. And furthermore, a lot of people. There was one case that、um, a Toyota driver was dragged out of his car and beaten almost until his death until the authority comes and stops this entire incident. It is horrible. So everyone, beware not to show any altruism or patriotism toward Japan when you are in Beijing. Otherwise, we cannot hold any responsibility over your personal safety. And we do not want to lose any of our volleyball players. Yes, exactly. Oh, and speaking of which, I just got an email from Mrs. Rock today. Tell the student, tell the seniors, especially the senior, to be cautious of their academic records and their academic honesty and their impressions to the teachers, because this is very important. The, all the grades are due on October sixteenth. I repeat, October sixteenth, which is next Friday.、Um, for all the people that are applying for early decision, early action. And all the University of California application because UC applications are due on November thirtieth. November thirtieth. So be be careful of your grades and turn all the work. And then, especially with academic honesty, we don't want to leave any bad records on it. Oh yeah, speaking that reminds me of、uh, last year. Some of our seniors are、uh, taking history, of、uh, taking the math. I'm sorry, the math internal、uh, internal assessments were caught plagiarizing, and that is not good on your record. Even at Harvard, yes, Harvard, the top school,、uh, people were caught cheating. And guess what? They tried to blame it on the te-、uh, teacher's assistants, claiming that they were helping them out and that they were merely just collaborating. That's a horrible excuse for an escape for cheating. But anyways, that's all the news we have for today. And here's our meeting reminders. On Thursday, three o'clock, there's an MU one meeting in Miss Chen's classroom. And on Monday, three o'clock after school, there's an Invisible Children meeting to talk about fun fair. And once we get this officialized, we'll get more meetings and everything. And go Dragons! Get number one. Thank you, KS. Bye bye. Have a nice day.